Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. I am here with baby Brayden. I was trying to do a video. If you hear a little frustration in my voice, it's because Miss Andy has been over to the house. Um, I was trying to record, she interrupted me, and it was just, whew, um, it just didn't go well. So, therefore, I never, you know, and the stuff that she said, I don't think that I can let it be played on the gym pop. So, um, I don't know. It may somehow appear in the chat box because I asked, I told her to delete it. And she said that she was going to upload it. And then she said if I delete it, she was not going to help me with the kids. So, hey, it is what it is. Just know, I'm telling you guys, she's over, she over-exaggerates. You know, she's of age. You know how older people be. They say whatever they want to say. And, yeah. But, anyway. So, I've been just enjoying Brayden along with some of my other babies. And... Um, my birthday is today and it's like three or four o'clock in the morning. I cannot sleep. I wanted to paint another layer on, which might very well be the very final layer on Greta, the prototype Greta, um, before I start prepping for matting. Um, but I'm like, I don't, I'm not supposed to work on my birthday. My birthday is going to consist of so many things um, that's not pertaining to me. It's so funny. I, don't, I didn't have a choice. So it is what it is. Um, some things just had to be done. So, but um, I am going to reserve a, another day, maybe Labor Day, just for me um and i'm just gonna just totally enjoy that whole day doing just me um but for now you know i i am gonna do what i gotta do um i'm 44 years old for some of you guys that may not know and when you get to a certain age, sometime, you know, I am very big on birthdays for everybody else. But myself, eh, you know, I'd be excited and I thank God for blessing me another year. Um, I know that it's, a, it's, it's definitely a blessing just to wake up. Um, and I didn't get that choice. And um, so I'm very thankful. Um, just like everybody else, or not everybody else, some people, you know, you as you start to reflect on life and say, is this all I'm supposed to be, or am I not, I'm not where I want to be in life, um, have I accomplished enough for me to be this age, you know, just stuff like that, and um, the one thing I never questioned, though, is I'm 44 years old and I still play with dolls. Um, it just seems like natural. <laughs> it's so crazy. And when I say play with dolls, you know, I don't sit down and have tea parties, but I would. <laughs> I think if Gabby was really still into dolls like she is, but I noticed she is going back to her dolls. Um, when I, I did a really reorganization of her room, um, before school started, and so she has certain babies, and she has this one baby she's had for a long time. It was a gift to her, and it's a, um, I think, I want to say it's a, a vintage doll, and she loves that doll. Um, he's a very chocolate little boy with curly, curly hair, like really coily hair, and she loves him. Um, and I noticed she started back playing with him. And then I gave her Fat Mama, and she brushes Fat Mama's hair and stuff like that. Sometimes she takes her in there and wash her hair. I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so, I, I I don't know. She might be getting back into the reborn. So, if she ever said, Mom, let's have a tea party with our babies. Of course. I remember when when um, my girls was little, Tabitha would drop her baby off 
um, to daycare and I would have to watch her baby and I was so excited because I spent all the money for that little, it wasn't a baby alive, but it did like it talked and it, the mouth moved and it um, did little things, you know. And so she would ask me to babysit the grandbaby. <sighs> and so, yeah, the other kids had dolls, but they, they wasn't, they wasn't into it. I bought all of them one, I don't know, I can't remember what doll it was, but I bought all of them the same doll, different skin tones or something like that, so that they could be separated. But they didn't, they wasn't into them. So, yeah, if, if that came down to it, but me, you know, my main thing with these dolls are dressing, pictures, cuddling. Like, and I, when I say cuddling and holding, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't get enough, I, you know, because of adulting and responsibilities and other things that I have to do, I don't get time to really sit down and just be like, oh, let me just hold a baby. Sometimes I sit here and I be like, I'm going to make a video, but I never um turn the camera on i'll just sit here and hold a baby and i get sleepy um it's something about it it's very relaxing and i just calm down so the most most of the time when i get to really really hold a baby is when i sit down in this chair and that's why i think i get sleepy and i don't even you know i don't really do much of other stuff i barely even watch tv I watch a lot of stuff on my tablet, my iPad and, you know, um, like different series and stuff like that. But to just sit down and like watch regular TV, it just don't happen often. And I usually watch series when, um, you know, brooding and stuff like that. So, um, my dolls are usually on display and just not handled as often as you would think. Um, I dress them, some of them I don't dress for months. And I dress them and I pose them and I take plenty of pictures of them. And that's about it. That's how it go. But in any case, um, I forgot what, what I was talking about. But yeah, so anyway guys, I am just coming on, even though it's my birthday, and I should be doing something else with my life. <laughs> I'm doing what I love. Um, you know, the song, it's my birthday, I cry if I want to. It's my birthday, I do what I want to, and if I want to play dolls, that's what I want to do for my birthday, so be it. Um, in between all the other stuff that I got to do for other people today... I am going to take time out to continue to finalize the final touches on my nursery and um, uh, get ready because I, I plan to do a nursery tour. Oh, I should do a take, take, take the Lola's to work day. <laughs> um, if I don't get my dividers up. Or, you know, decide on a divider for my nursery before the nursery tour. I might just might show you guys my workstations. But I try to keep that separate. Um, I don't I don't really like to share that part. Um, but I am going to do a tour. In, so I'm trying to get all the babies in here because I got about... Jelly Bean, Bridget, Phoebe, Vegas. There's another baby in there. There's actually. Mm, who else is in there? So I have about six babies in my room, I think. <laughs> it's so crazy. One in a walker, one in a. a wing like chair rock the, the the rocker yeah one in a rocker one in a the a walker and um and then I have two bassinets in my room 
and it's like two babies in each one of those or something like that so yeah it's um it's crazy and sometimes i have a baby on my bed so um for a long time he was in there and nori pretty much usually stays in there but i brought her out in here to, so she can be in the video so i'm getting there i'm so slow on everything <sighs> sorry see what i'm talking about i'm getting so slow i mean i'm i'm so slow on everything else but like i said it's a process i did start the giveaway baby it's a slow start but i did start i just need to finish the prototype so when i start a lot of things sometimes you know other projects come up that have to take you know priority over other things such as my little my giveaways and stuff like that but don't worry i've yet to do a giveaway where i didn't really ever give the thing and i showed that i do have the stuff i've just it's just been a thousand things coming up um i i will share later my recent you know traumatic event this uh whatever you call it event as in why i've been like all over the place and um whatever but anyway, it's Mama's bus day, right? It's Mama's bus day. And so we are going to, you know, we're going to go ahead and get going. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. And um, I'm going to go ahead and paint that layer because I'm not going to feel good until I do. So I'm going to just go and get it out of the way. Just go ahead and do it. Might as well. Because I feel like he need one more layer. And then I feel like I'm definitely going to be able to go ahead and start matting the head. I may do a little bit more work detailing on the hands and the feet before I mat the, the arms and legs. But once the color is all the same, I don't want, I don't, like, I don't understand, like, how people mat the you know like paint all one part and then mat it and then paint the other part i cannot do that oh my god they would be mismatch so once i got all the skin tone in and i'm good on that then i feel like i can certainly go ahead and you know go ahead i can go ahead and mat the the um the face because I can the, the parts that I'm doing on the limbs is not going to change the coloring of the baby so they, they'll still be blended you know and little things is like you know working on the, the, the toes and you know maybe you know the detailing in the feet or stuff like that uh, um, and you know like the hands and stuff I may want to do some little extra stuff in there that ain't going to affect the skin tone. So that's why I'm like, oh. But at least I'll know what color this baby is actually going to be. Because it's so interesting to me right now. I'm really proud of the color. But when you mat, it just changed so much. And I don't know what I'm going to get. And I'm kind of nervous. You know. When the, when the sculptors and the, you know, um, Kathy you know trusted me to do this prototype i thought oh my gosh it's a partial and she knows i i don't usually do partials but um i was excited for the challenge but my whole thing is like i don't want to disappoint i don't want to disappoint so i'm ready to see what this baby's going to look like okay um i love i love him now but we gotta see after the matting. So stay tuned. Next week, I shall be at least showing you guys a pink up the peak of the painting, and then he will get rooted. All right. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.